food truck here. I want to introduce you to Chef John. How you doing, Chef? I'm doing good. Man, listen, everybody talks about you in this city, man. They talk about your bed and breakfast. They talk about your sauces and all your salad mixes. Like, what do you do here, man? My bed and breakfast is like my home, so I welcome guests and I'm hospitable to them. And so what I want to do today is show people how to maybe do some of these things to make life easier. Mm. How to really be a gourmet in less time and a few less steps. So you're saying folks at home watching Flip My Food and all these amazing folks here from Shreveport can duplicate what we're gonna make here today because you sell product here. Right. We're gonna be making grits and griots, which is beef. Wait, 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 wait. Grits and what? Griot. I thought I was gonna hear grits and crawfish or something. What's a griot, man? No, griot is a beef tip. Let ah. me shut up and so we can start cooking. All okay. right, I'm ready. Let's go, man. All right. Tell me what you want so, me to do. I'm sous chef. So we're gonna we're gonna start sa sauteing the beef. Okay. And so we're gonna start with a stick of butter. A stick and of butter. Okay. Stick of butter. Every good recipe starts with a stick of butter. Okay. So we're gonna throw the meat in. Oh yeah, baby. There you go. Oh yeah. Now, uh, what I notice about your your beef tips here is that it's marble, so you have a little fat, which means flavor, right? Right. You've got to have a little fat, and we're adding some more fat by putting the butter in, so okay. fat is flavor. So we've got one medium purple onion, okay. maybe a half a red bell pepper, and um, we're going to use a heart of celery. So we're going to put that in there, and then I always just add a little bit of yellow bell pepper, okay. Yeah. Give it a little color while I'm cooking. So y'all know how they do it down here. Like, ain't no measuring spoons up here, no measuring, because we just dump, taste, cook, and stir. Right. All right, man, we got everything in here right now. So what's next, Chef? What's the next step once so, you brown off? So the next step is we're going to throw a little garlic in it. We don't really okay. want to put the garlic quite okay. at the beginning. No, no, because no. I've never seen garlic. Fuck so what garlic. I did with the garlic was I pureed it in a food processor. Fresh garlic, I just pureed it. You can chop it. You can dice it. You can do whatever you want to do. So we're going to stir that in. And so maybe two cloves of garlic to about a pound and a half to two pounds of meat. We put a little hot sauce in here, and so okay. today we're putting a little crystal hot sauce. Hey, talk about Louisiana it, finest right here, the so crystal a hot bit of, sauce. a little bit of crystal hot sauce. Yes. So maybe in this this much, I would put maybe a quarter cup. Gotcha. Okay? All right. Now we're going to add some water. Probably, I would say, about three cups of water. Okay. So this is going to simmer for about three hours. Okay. Okay? So you could even, even do this in a crock pot. After you salt everything, you could dump it in a crock pot, and you could leave. You don't even have to watch it. Yes. Put it on simmer. So it's going to be really easy. So anyway, well then we're going to take the tomatoes. Mm. This is the pasta and pizza sauce. It's kind of a chunky tomato. Then we're going to add that to it. And so that's going to give us the combination of the brown and red gravy. Ooh. And so we're going to throw some bay leaves okay. in. Uh, four or five bay leaves. Mm -hmm. And a little salt and pepper. All right, so we're going to let that go low and slow a little bit. Now, talk about your process of your grits here. So I'm going to boil the water. Again, butter is something that we want to have plenty of. We got our grits, and of course, uh, if I measure something, I'll mess it up, so. Well, you know, that talks a lot about your passion and growing up cooking and being around great cooks in your family right. as well, too. And when you cook food, when you smell food, and you have that visual of food, you can kind of tell right. if you need more liquid or more seasoning and spices. So you're a big taster as you go. How right. important is tasting your food while you cook? Well, no, never trust a skinny cook. Woo! My goodness. Did, did somebody did you ever did you know? I've heard that before. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Jeff, you ready to plate this up? I'm ready to do right. it. We're gonna put a little grits in here. Okay. And we're gonna do the oh yeah. The three oh video. yeah. Oh, nice and hot here. As that meat it starts to fall apart a little bit, huh? Oh yeah. It's oh, really... I love it. Yes, look at that. Mm, mm, mm. Lord have mercy. Oh yeah, baby. Ow! There you go, Ooh, little three yeah. odds. Okay, here we go. There you go. Cheers. Cheers. You like that? Mm. Damn. Talk about the saints come marching home, baby. This is good, Jeff. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! <laughs> I love the combination of that rougher texture with the grits, along with your brown and red sauce. What was interesting to me is you mentioned pasta, and pizza sauce. This is a very versatile product that you have here. Right. Man, and that's part of the, the shortcut for right. home cooks right. who may not have time, busy, single moms, working moms. They could buy ready-made red beans and rice, just a dry mix, and just pour it in there and mm -hmm. add this jar to it. And put it in the crock yeah. pot. Put it in the crock pot. My there goodness. They go. <laughs> and it's all about the business right here, Chef. So Talk taking to... shortcuts and making it easy in the kitchen. And Everybody don't... wants to be a gourmet, but nobody yeah. has time. Yes. So. Chef. 
you did the doggone thing, man. Listen, you're not gonna stop cooking, are you? No. All right, we're gonna be here all day today. What you got next for us? Spaghetti and meatballs. My goodness, spaghetti and meatballs. We're at Fairfield Place right here in Shreveport, Louisiana. It's going down in the kitchen, baby.